Hello, hello, friends. Welcome to Ego Online TV. You are with your teacher, Teacher Atanas. Today we are going to talk about writing skills. This is primary four. So I invite you to have your textbooks and uh, you have your computers so that we learn writing skills together. We like to write and decorate words and uh, sentences in our notebooks. In the same way, word processing applications help us to write, edit, and uh, format a document in a computer. So the three main things that we are going to talk about is writing a document, editing a document, and uh, formatting a document. And we use the word processing applications like what? Like Microsoft Word, Word Perfect, the Word Fad, and the Word Pro. Here down we have a window of Microsoft Word on which you have the, an office button. You have the quick access. We have the ribbon. We have the title bar. We have the ruler. We have help. We have many things on the window. And the one ribbon that we are going to to focus on is this window of formatting. It allows us to format, to edit, to format our text. Today's first lesson will be text selection. We are going to learn how we can select a text. After typing a text, after having a document, how can you now select a part of that document? You select one word, you select one character, you can select one sentence, you can select one paragraph, you can also select the, the whole document. So we are going to have to learn the skills of text selection. This lesson is very important. Why? Because before you format a text, we have to select it. Before you edit a text, you have to select it. That is why it is the first lesson. In other lessons that we are going to have, you will be using the skill of text selection. So the first skill that we shall learn together today is text selection. And we are going to use two methods. We are going to use either the keyboard or the mouse. Selection of a text highlights the text. Let's start with the first activity. I think your textbooks are open. <clears throat> the first activity is on page number 73, and it's all about opening Microsoft Word, writing and selecting text using keyboard. You follow these steps. On your computer, click on the Start icon. Click on the Start icon. Slide the mouse up to the cursor, so the cursor is on all programs. Click on Microsoft Office options and choose Microsoft Word. That is what you are going to do first. Let's have it. This is the, the start icon. Start. You click on start. And then you search for Microsoft Office. Microsoft Office. This is a very important skill. Microsoft Office. And then you search for Microsoft Word. Where is Microsoft Word? Wow. Word 13. Microsoft Word. And then you click on it. Once you click, now you have a new a new document. We are creating a new document. And after creating that new document, we shall now start typing in the new document. So when you click there, the Office, the Microsoft Office will give you many options of the template that you can use. We have the college newspapers, modern newspapers, welcome to Word, and so on. So you choose blank documents. You click there. And after clicking on the word documents, now you have the word documents. You have where to type your documents. And then after having this, we are going now to start typing. 
as the book says after you click on microsoft word and on a new document page write your name this is the new document page we are going to type our name my name is manzi fred manzi fred gisa this is my name manzi fred gisa after typing my name in the <clears throat> on the document area the next one we are going now to start selecting the text first of all we are selecting using the keyboard as we said it before we are selecting using the keyboard and then how do you select using the keyboard the first one select the first character we are going to select the first character of our our our, our name by holding the shift key the the, the keyboard has many keys the keyboard has many keys this is the the shift key we have the caps key it allows us to write the capital letters we have arch we have uh, office you have letters you have numbers you have other other symbols mathematical symbols we have home page up navigation those are the keys so for us to be able to to select the first character of our name what do we do we let me leave this one you hold or you press shift key at the same time you click or you press on the right arrow key at the same time this is the arrow right key this is left this is up this is down their direction key allo keys so you press shift and uh, this allo at the same time so we want to select the first character which is m you press the cursor at the beginning of that letter that character and then you hold shift and uh, the allo key right allo key at the same time you see that our character is selected if you want to select for example this g you press the cursor at the beginning of g you hold or you press shift and allow key if you want to select this e from friend you hold you press shift and allow key you see that is very easy it is very very easy so this is the first one the way of selecting the first letter or the second letter one character using the keyboard we use the key shift combination of shift plus right arrow key so we can also select from left if you select from left we are not going to use the right arrow key but we use the left arrow key and we are not placing the cursor at the beginning of the character but we place it at the end of the character what does it mean <clears throat> We have we want to select this word gisa g we place the cursor at the end of the of the word and then you hold shift left arrow key this is the left arrow key that i'm using you go there shift and press this key if you want to select F, Shift, and then this key on the keyboard. If you want to select this I, you go to Shift and then this arrow. It is very easy. So we have so far uh, we have done two things. We have selected one key. Uh, we have selected one character using the the Shift plus arrow key, either left or right if you want to set from left to right or if you want to set from right to left the next one in your notebook uh, remember that you are using the notebooks the textbooks uh, we are now going to select your second name we are now selecting this the, the, na the name one word we are selecting one word before we're selecting one character one letter now here we're going to select 
one word Aida, Gisa, or Fred, or Manzi. You can select whatever what using this this method. The first one is control. Remember that this is control on the keyboard. Shift. You know shift now. Shift and right arrow key. This is the right arrow key. We have three combination combinations control plus shift plus right arrow key let's have it we want to select manzi you put the curves at the beginning of the word and then control shift and then wow fantastic you want to select fred you press the cursor at the big the beginning of the word Control shift wow gisa control shift at the same time remember wow we press them at the same time if you press one you hold you and hold it and then you press another one you will not be able to select you have to press them at the same time so rem uh, remember that we are selecting a text so that you can edit you can format our documents we have so far selected one character we have selected one uh, one word how can you now select this all all words using the using the the keyboard uh, let's hold control shift and then you press you go to uh to this key you see now we are selecting now we have selected the all the all sentence or the name manzi fred Gisa. all of them are highlighted uh, remember that selecting a text is highlighting it selecting it from other text or other documents other parts of the document wow this is another combination <clears throat> that is what you are going to focus on to select all of them all words from the beginning to the end it may be one name it may be the old document for example here we have the uh we have the old document for example we want to select the old document using the the cursor you hold control you press control shift and on the keyboard there is a key called end to mean we are starting we move through the document to the end when you click end you see the whole document is selected but you have to press the curse at the beginning of the first character of your text you, you press ctrl shift and then you press also end you can also use the same method we shall read it after you when you put the cursor at the end of the document you hold ctrl shift and then you go to home home means you are coming back to the start of the document you see now that all document is selected the text all texts are selected uh, this this is the third the third skill that we know now so far the first one was selecting one character the second one was selecting one word the third one was selecting the whole document using the keyboard let's read it up <clears throat> selecting your second name we have had it uh select your second name from its end of it uh, to its beginning we have also had it <clears throat> we have run it now select your full name from its beginning to its end by pressing cursor at the the beginning of your full name and you press uh and hold uh, here we hold and as we have had it home key and then shift plus and key this is another method but we have used what is simple uh, control control shift and end at the same time 
Oh, I'm sorry. We have gone immediately to the end because we are having the documents. So let's come back to <clears throat> to our chapter. <clears throat> let's come back to our chapter. Patience. Um, uh, okay. Now we are here. Mm -hmm. Now we have already had three skills, as I told you before. We have selected one character. <coughs> we have selected one uh, word. We have also selected the whole sentence. Let's go to the second activity. But before we go to the second activity, let's have a practice on what we have learned so far. Uh, for example, here we have our name. Let's delete it. We write, for example, uh, Akariza Ange Ange Mirei. We, are, we want to select one character. We want to highlight, for example, K. <clears throat> we can press the cursor at the beginning of K and then Shift Alloki. Z, you go to shift this alloy. So you can also select from behind or from, from the end to the beginning. You select A, shift using this one, going right or left. We have also learned how we can select one word. You hold control, you press the cursor at the beginning. You hold control and then shift and then right alloc. Want to select Mireille from behind? You press the cursor at the end of the word. Control, shift, and then rift alloc. We have also selected the whole word, the all words or the full sentences, full sentence or the whole document. You press the cursor at the beginning. Control shift and then you go to end wow that is very very interesting you can select also the whole sentence from behind you go to control shift and then home key so that was the first selecting using the keyboard setting one character selecting one word and selecting uh, the whole sentence using the keyboard that was the first activity. Let's go to the second activity of our lesson. The second activity is selecting sentence, paragraph, and document using the keyboard. We shall be using the skill that you have had in the first activity. So we open a new document and write a home life story. You write a home life story, for example, this one. Uh, my name is Amkadera. I live in Chigari with my parents. My father is a businessman. He exports coffee to other parts of Africa. I'm in grade four. That is a life story. You open a document, new document, and then you type this, this uh, life story. Let's have it, for example. Uh, my name is Manzi. I'm in a grade four. My father is a doctor and he works at King Faiso. Do you know King Faiso Hospital? Uh, hospital and my mother and my mother is a business woman woman she she works with the traders My favorite subject, my favorite subject is 
science and my favorite teacher my favorite teacher is our teacher of science teacher of science i also like praying playing football this is a life story oh there is a mistake here my father okay this is a life story <clears throat> we are going to try to select a sentence a paragraph or the whole document using the keyboard this is the second activity select a sentence down a sentence down here we have the word down by pressing a cursor at the beginning of the sentence press and hold and key and then shift down alone let's try it you want to select the sentence you press the cursor at the beginning you can also as we said uh control shift and down arrow select the all we hold and key or let's uh, because here we we, we can travel uh, our document with pressing end let's use <clears throat> let's use this one control shift uh -huh. the problem is that we are having many sentences here this is the whole paragraph let's select one sentence select a sentence down down by pressing a curse at the beginning sentence press and hold end key and then shift down arrow shift shift down arrow <clears throat> let's make it simple shift down arrow we don't use the we don't use the end because if you try to use end key we trouble with our document so simply hold shift key and press down arrow key this is down arrow key it is not our power key. before we're using left and right now we are going to use up and down we are selecting let me read it again we are selecting a sentence down by pressing a curse at the beginning that is what you have to do first you say you you push uh, when you put your curse at the beginning when you say beginning means what beginning is here before before the sentence before a word or before a sentence and then you press and hold end key we are not holding the end key we are only using this one shift plus down arrow shift plus down arrow if you select from down uh, from uh, down to up uh, it is the second one select a sentence up by pressing a cursor we are going to use now shift up arrow let's combine these two we have had the first one we are selecting this sentence you press the cursor at the beginning and then you hold you press shift and then down key if you want to select from behind up you select you hold shift and then <coughs> up key you see that we are selecting the whole sentence by pressing shift plus down key or up key depending on the direction that you take that is the first one the second one we are selecting a sentence a paragraph or the whole document uh, select a paragraph from its end to its beginning by pressing the cursor at the end of the paragraph press and hold control shift down you're going to use three combination control plus shift plus down arrow 
control shift plus down arrow we combine it with the next one select a paragraph from its beginning control shift up the up arrow let's have these three the first one you are going to select this whole paragraph you press the control uh, you press the cursor at the beginning of the the, the paragraph control shift and then uh, wow that is good control shift and uh, down key if you want to select the old paragraph from uh, from the uh, from the end to the beginning you press the curse at the end of the uh, at the end of the paragraph and then you press control shift and then up you press up key we are pressing up key uh -huh. let's repeat it you want to set from the beginning you press the curse at the beginning and then Control shift down key. If you want to select from behind, you press the cursor at the, the end of the document, uh, the end of the sentence. Control shift and then. Wow, I think that you are. You see, that is very easy. It is magical. So select the whole document by pressing or uh, before we go there, you can uh, use the home and end key. When you press the control, <clears throat> when you put the cursor there at the beginning, you press control and uh, shift and you go to end. You are selecting the whole document, your, the whole sentence. But here it is when you have only one sentence, one uh, paragraph. You cannot use it if you don't have the whole and the, 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 you, you have many paragraphs. You cannot use this one. So that is why I just invite you to use this method when you are selecting the old document. That is what you are going to do. <clears throat> you are going now to select the old document. There is what you call a shortcut. A shortcut normally when you are using the keyboard to perform a, a task on your computer without using what is written on the the windows of your program the program that we are using you use the the keyboard it is what you call the shortcut how can you now select the whole document uh you select it by pressing ctrl plus a keys at the same time we want to select the whole document this one maybe there is another paragraph uh for example uh i would like to or oh, i'd like to to become a doctor as my father or my father or a businessman business business man as my mother now we have the documents we have two we have two paragraphs how can you select the whole document so you press control and then a at the same time control and then a at the same time control a at the same time this is how you can select the whole document. You can also, as they say, they say it here in the document, you can also use the method that I was showing you from behind, uh, from the beginning to the end, or from the end to the beginning. You can put the cars at the beginning, control, shift, and then end. Or from behind, control, shift home these are the ways of selecting the old documents so in this activity we have focused on selecting one sentence selecting one sentence by shift and then uh, sorry shift control shift Yeah, selecting the one word in uh, 
I forgot that uh, we are using the down key <clears throat> shift down from behind also shift up you have also selected the uh, the paragraph by using this method <clears throat> you put the cursor here control shift down key or from here behind control shift up key <clears throat> you have also selected the whole sentence by pressing control and letter a at the same time or using when you are here at the beginning control shift and <clears throat> or when you are behind at the end of the documents control shift home these are the second activity the second skill that we have learned so far we are uh, we know now <clears throat> now we know how to select one character one word one sentence one paragraph or the whole document using the keyboard remember that we select the text so that we can edit it or we can format it we have started with this selection of the text skill so that we can be able to edit to format our text next time because we know how to select the to select what you want to edit or want what you want the second skill is selecting text with mouse selecting text with mouse this is the second lesson that we are going to talk about how can you select a text using a mouse but before you go there you can have a practice on what you have done before selecting using the using the the keyboard before you learn how to select text using mouse or with a mouse remember that we are in primary for science and elementary technology plus ict we are using a textbook of science uh, science and elementary technology and ict for primary schools student book and we are on page 76 now and i invite you before we started to have your textbooks on your site have the computers and they run with your teacher teacher atanas let's continue <clears throat> now we are going to select using the mouse it is activity number three selecting selecting a word a sentence a paragraph and a document using a mouse open the existing document we are having our documents that you have typed in the previous activity we have it a mouse the mouse has two parts the mouse has the right button it has also the left button right button and left button that is why we normally say right click or left click we right click using right button we left click using left button we are now going to use a mouse to select after opening the document you are going to, to select a word by double clicking on that word this is what we have as skill double click on the word let's select the word manzi we double click double click means what you left click two times success uh, 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 successfully two times without delaying if you delay you will not select that one we double click we click two times double click means clicking two times we double click i think you hear the sound you double click on the word if you want to select for example king faiso king you double click on the word faiso you double click on the word science you double click on the word if you don't double click it will not happen mother double click businesswoman double click works double click favorite 
double click subject double click we are left double clicking where is left you click using this side you double click eh? two times this one you double click on this one two times you double click so to select a sentence press the cursor anywhere in the sentence anywhere anywhere in the sentence this is anywhere this is anywhere you can put it any anywhere you want and then after posting the cursor where you want you hold the control key and you click anywhere on the sentence you hold the control key and you click anywhere in the sentence what does it mean we want to select the sentence you put the cursor wherever you want you hold the control key you remember now where is the control key on the mouse you hold the control key and then you click anywhere control key anywhere sorry because we have the mouse here we have the keyboard opened You hold the control key and you click anywhere you see you have selected one sentence you hold the control key uh, remember a sentence start with a capital letter and ends with a full stop don't don't think that the, this one is the is one sentence we have many sentences here this is the first sentence you have the second sentence we have another sentence that ends uh ends where here so if you want to select this sentence my father is a doctor and he works at king faisal hospital and my mother is a businesswoman she works with traders she works with traders so if i want to select this one i put the cursor anywhere in the sentence that i want to select and then i press control control key and i click once one time in the document in, uh, in the sentence i want to set my favorite subject is set and my favorite teacher is our teacher of science you put the cursor anywhere wherever you want in the document uh, in the sentence you hold control and then you click you click once you click once using your mouse you click once using your mouse and the left side of your mouse we want to select this last sentence you put the cursor wherever you want control and you click left click using your mouse this is way uh, a way of selecting one sentence using the the mouse we are holding control we are holding control and then we click here we click here holding control and then we click here okay I'm sorry. To select a paragraph, triple click anywhere on the paragraph. Triple click. How many times? Three times. We triple click anywhere in the paragraph. We triple click anywhere in the paragraph. You have one paragraph here. If you want to select it, you triple click three times three times fast that, those are two times eh? uh-huh three times if you don't if you delay it won't be selected you see i'm selecting the whole paragraph by triple clicking on the paragraph Wow, this skill is very this skill is very important. Wow. I'm using this. I'm triple clicking using the side left button on the mouse. To select the whole paragraph, triple click anywhere in the in the paragraph. Triple click anywhere in the paragraph paragraph.
Now to select entire document, press the cursor at the beginning of the document, hold the shift key and click at the end of the document. Click means clicking the left mouse button. <clears throat> that is what I was saying before. Click means clicking the left mouse button. We want to select the whole documents. The whole document means here we have two paragraphs. You put the cursor at the beginning. You hold shift. Now you know it's shift. You hold the shift. And then you click at the end of the document. You click at the end of the document. You see where I put the, 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 the curse of the mouse? This one, shift, and then you put it there at the end of the document. Oh, the mouse was, uh, the, the, the curse was not at the beginning. At the beginning, here, at the beginning, you see it is the beginning, shift, and then you click at the end of the the document if you want to start by here to the end you put the cursor here shift end of the document if you want to start with the word the the, the character k shift the end of the document if you want to start with she shift end of the document you see it is uh, very simple here we are selecting using the the mouse we have selected so far we have selected one word by uh, one word by double clicking on the word we have selected also the uh, the sentence by using control and then we click anywhere on the sentence we have selected also the paragraph by triple clicking anywhere on the paragraph we have also selected the whole document by using the shift combination the shift key and then we click at the end of the document using the left mouse button this first lesson as we said it was all about the way of selecting a text how can we select a text how can we select a paragraph how can we select the old documents using the keyboard and using the the mouse the first one was using the keyboard we have had one activity we have opened microsoft word writing and selecting text using keyboard uh, the second one you remember that we are using the combination like shift like control the this key down up keys we are also uh let me go back we are using also home and end we are using those combination the keyboard so that we can uh, so that we can select a document select one sentence or select uh, one character or select one paragraph or select the whole document using the keyboard the second the, the second activity was selecting sentence paragraph and document using the keyboard and the, the third activity was all about selecting uh selecting using the mouse how can we select a word sentence paragraph and the document using the mouse and we have also described the, the composition of mouse. We have said that the mouse has right button and the left button. When you say click means what? We are using the left button of the mouse. We double click to select one word. You use control, use control, the sentence. You use control and you click anywhere in the sentence to select one sentence you triple click to select one paragraph or use shift the fifth one you use shift and you click at the end of the document to select the document thank you very much i invite you to continue reading uh, and uh, you attempt to the questions at the end of this unity uh, you can also continue practicing these ways of selecting uh, using the keyboard and using the mouse thank you very much for 
this lesson for your time let's meet next time when we'll be talking about formatting we'll be talking about formatting text how can you format a text after typing the text after uh, after selecting it after highlighting it now what are the ways of formatting the text thank you very much remember to subscribe you can like this video you give us a comment in the comment box you tell us what you want us to upload what do you want us to explain or what skills do you want to know so that we can go in details we we, we cover it or we talk about it you can even share this uh, document the, the, the this video uh, this content to your friends to other parents uh, all over the world so that this skill can be known by everyone uh, we learn together and then we achieve together thank you very much god bless you